Tim Hasselbeck's alongside. We'll get to Atlanta, and uh, you, you heard that stat about hitting 18 in a row, and as a guy that used to make a living throwing, that's pretty sporty stuff. <laughs> yeah. The Giants, uh, not quite so sporty. Mm -hmm. um, I'll ask you the same wide-open question yeah. I asked Booger. Where do you start with him? Well, I think Booger was right. You do start with the offensive line, but I think the bigger thing, Scott, is you look at all of their – they're big time players. So whether it's Solder, whether it's Eli, whether it's Odell, whether it's, you know, whether it's, you know, Saquon Barkley, like those guys all need to play better. This speaks to the way we view sports now. Look at Golden State. They changed the way people play basketball, shoot a million threes. This year you saw the, the Tampa Bay Rays go to a, the opener. They stopped going with starting pitching. Right. And this is math. The, the analytics uh, folks are, are saying go for it on fourth down. People are doing it more. And as this happens, I'm an old guy, old school guy, and I'm like, what the hell are they doing? What was your reaction well, to it? Well, listen, when you're watching it, I, I think it's easy to question the call when you're watching it. But then when you hear Pat Shermer stand up there and answer the questions from the media, it kind of stops any type of follow-up you might have. It's like, well, no, the math told us this because we, you know, we increased our winning percentages by 50% if, in fact, we score again later. And our but, analytics folks say absolutely that's, un, that's unimpeachable. That's what the numbers say. It's just a complete uh, 180 from the traditional approach that, that has been taken. Okay, so you get it. You still would have needed to get a stop, which they didn't get. Right. So in the end, what gets questioned is something that I think isn't as important as the bigger issues that they've got, which we were going to get to before uh, Coach Shermer began speaking. Yeah. You know what's interesting, though, about Pat, and I think this is what struck me watching him there. You know, after the whole Odell interview with Joe Cena thing, he came out and said, look, here, here I'm going to address it. This is what I'm going to say, and now it's over. Look at how he's come out and addressed these things. For a team that's a, a one and six football team that the New York media is going to be bearing down on, I think he's actually handling this about as good as you possibly could. Comes out, addresses why he went for it when he went for it. Addresses the fourth down situation, the sneak at the end of the game. And I think does it in a way of, look, this is our thought process on it. You should be able to accept that. And I think that his point is well taken about, about what will happen on those sneaks. you got to get in there. And you cannot, clearly you cannot afford to lose the time because the time is the only asset you have. And you lose 35 seconds of it going for two sneaks that they don't get. Correct, correct. And I think the, the point there is we're there. If you can't get it there, then listen, we, we can question the call. But our job should be to get it in from that point on the field. Listen, some coaches would, you know, throw the ball there so it's an incomplete pass and you're stopping the clock. But, you know, that's not what the Giants chose to do. 